हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर स्टडिंग टू लॉज ऑफ लॉ ऑफ केमिकल कंपोजिशन न थर्ड लॉ स्टेट एस लॉ ऑफ मल्टीपल प्रपोर्शन लॉ ऑफ मल्टीपल प्रपोर्शन व्हिच इज प्रपोज बाय डेल्टन इन एटीन हंड्रेड थ्री ही स्टेट दैट ही स्टेट दैट when two elements combine together when two elements when two elements combine together to form more than one compound to form more than one compound one compound the mass of the mass of one, one element the mass of one element that combine to the fixed mass of other element that combine to the fixed mass of other element other element are in the small whole number ratio are in the small whole number ratio number ratio so what it is it is when two elements combine together to form more than one compound the mass of one element that combine with the to the fixed mass of other element are in the small whole number ratio it is said that for example two elements are there a plus b when they are combining they can form ab type compound or when they are combining they can form ab2 type compound ab2 so the mass of one element is fixed and the mass of other element is varying likewise for example if we can take the example of hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen we know that hydrogen and oxygen when combined together they form water h2 hydrogen and oxygen it is hydrogen and it is oxygen likewise hydrogen and oxygen when they are combining together they are forming hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 hydrogen peroxide ab here you can see in here the mass of hydrogen is 2 g and the mass of oxygen is 16 g when they are combining they are forming 18 g of water likewise the mass of hydrogen is 2 g and the mass of hydrogen oxygen is 32 g and they are forming 34 g of hydrogen peroxide now look here here in this case example the mass of hydrogen is fixed that is 2 while the mass of oxygen is 16 ratio 32 now when we will find out the ratio then it will become one ratio two that is a simple whole number ratio okay now next law is this is third this is fourth gay lussac law gay lussac law of gaseous volume of gaseous volume he 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 proposed this law in 18 gay lussac proposed this law in 1808 he states that when two gases when two gases combine combine or are produced in a chemical reaction when two gases are combined or are produced in a chemical reaction they do so in a they do so in a simple ratio by volume they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided all gases are at all gases are at same temperature and pressure 
are at same temperature and pressure here gay lussac law is talking about the gases and uh, and their volume okay now what he is saying that he is saying when two gases are combining when two gases are combining or are produced when the reaction is taking place sometimes the two gases are combined or sometimes the reactions in the reaction the gases are produced when they do so they do so in a simple ratio and the temperature and pressure condition should be similar for all type of gases for example like if hydrogen plus oxygen hydrogen is a gas and oxygen is a gas and when they combine they are forming water now 100 ml of hydrogen is combined together is combined to 50 ml of oxygen and it is forming 100 ml of water okay now when we will find out the ratio that is 100 ratio 50 it will be 2 ratio 1 that is simple whole number ratio okay so hydrogen non oxygen are gases the condition of temperature and pressure is same for both the gases and their volume are taken in the simple whole number ratio when they are combining now next law is avogadro's law avogadro's law Avogadro's law proposed this law in 1811. He states that equal volume of all gases, equal volume of all gases, gases at same temperature and pr pressure, equal volume of all gases at same temperature and pressure should contains. should contains equal number of equal number of molecules